What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today's gonna be an awesome one. We're doing a top 10 pulls of 2021 by me. So these aren't just box breaks. These are my personal pulls. Maybe we'll do a box breaks top 10 as well in the future because we've got some crazy pulls out of those. But this one's gonna be top 10 of my personal pulls. We've had some great pulls already in the first half of this year. So I figured we'd do it halfway through and then we can do a, a final one at the end of 2021. But before that, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards. These are all Legacy of Darkness super rares if you guys are interested in that giveaway just like this video be subscribed and let me know your favorite moment from the top 10 maybe some snubs if you think there was one that should have been in from 2021 let me know and we can include that maybe in the end of the year one also if you guys are interested in king's court check out the link in the description to sassy auto he has a link use code ruxin 34 kc and you get five percent off your order so you guys can get some epic new boxes you can do five percent i think it's a pre-order at this point because it's not out but it's coming out this coming week july 9th i believe is the release date so check that out if you guys are interested they'll be, you'll be able to get your boxes probably by the end of the week maybe next week and let's get into the top 10. um stating the obvious there by the way if you're wondering the ratios oh yes as i was saying it okay breaker the magical warrior that's a super rare Oh, that's minty. Centering's good, too. This might have a PSA 10 chance, guys. And let's see what we can get. There are three very good ultimate rares in here. First of all, the Cyber Dragon. That's the one we want. There's also the Forbidden Droplet, which is a very big card as well. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. The first pack is a Cyber Dragon ultimate rare. And yes, you guys haven't seen this open yet. The ulti stamp is insane. Like, you can see the entire artwork through the back. It's really weird. Um, still, like, really nice condition. Just, like, very weird that it was stamped that hard. I don't think I've ever seen that Cyber Ouroboros card before. <laughs> I know I've seen it because of the Cyber Dragon um, theme deck. The, uh, oh, okay. I don't know if it's a structure. Yeah, I, I know I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Spell Chronicle. Okay, we don't have a secret rare yet. This is a little, little bit no, scary. Yeah. Shield. Oh, Dark Grim the that's second, the second best, best one. I think that's the second best one. We are happy with that. That is beautiful. I couldn't tell it was a secret at first, and then I, I read know, what it was. I, I was like, oh, lighting. that's a secret. Look at that. There we go. Ooh. Oh, it's beautiful. All right. This is a successful box. I can't say successful. That, that is really nice. Let's stop. I'm kind of having fun right now. So maybe we'll just keep going for a while. The different types of stum summoning, I'm not your guy. I don't even know how to link summon, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know how to link summon. Maybe we'll do a... Yes! Oh, look at it. There are, wait, are there print lines? I don't see any. Do you guys see any? Okay, what? here we go. Another Euro pack. Oh, this feels like a good one. Why does it feel? Okay, let's go like that. There we go. Oh! I told you it felt like a good one. Darn Okay, so got, yeah, some oh, print lines. Oh, wow, that thing looks kind of bad from yeah. this angle. Yeah. But if you look like that, it looks nice. But yeah. Yeah, we look like that. It's just oh, like, wow. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Can you guys see that? Really bad. Whoa. Okay. It's not quite raw level, but it's close. Look at that oh. card. What the? This is like a retro pack secret. Yeah. Right, bad. Let's see it. Here we go. We have Legacy of Darkness. We're going to start off with one pack. I don't know if we can possibly do that well, but we have not pulled the Injection Fairy Lily, guys. I want to see it. I want to so see it. So if, if there's a way to win this not actual pack battle... Yeah, there we go. How's it look? Oh, go over here. Yeah, just look on the right. Yeah, so okay. Room for our faces. Right, right. You're, you're a pro with this. All right, Spirit Ryu. We've got the Spiritual Energy Settle Machine. Super Robo Lady. And... Oh! <laughs> first pack! First pack oh, magic! Oh, <laughs> first pack magic! Wait, 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 wait. What? This has good scenery. Wait, really? Okay. I got the you... sleeve ready. Okay, 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 okay. You might not know this. Legacy of Darkness is known as having the worst center in, in Yu-Gi-Oh. Really? Consistently. This card and Yada are always off center. But if you look at that, let yeah. me put it on the screen. It's pretty good. Look at it. It's a sl barely off that yeah. way. Mm -hmm. That is, if this gets a 10, it's very, very low pop. It's a really? very, I don't have one of these. So this is no, a. No, you do. If this gets a 10, it's crazy. Uh, First pack magic, man. And the back looks pretty clean too. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. 
Like button for luck, guys. Destroy it. Here we go. This is our chance. Well, we have a few more chances, but I have a good feeling about this. Spell reproduction. Gaga Gigo. Exodia Necros! We got it! Oh my goodness! Okay, we gotta put this in sleep. I'm getting a little sweaty because I got hyped. Alright, here we go. How's the back look? The back looks... Really nice. It has that slight scuffing that they've all had. Wow, what a third ultra. The centering is pretty good. That card is a solid candidate, etc. No. All that stuff. Let's go ahead and start opening. Let's pull something good. I hope you guys are hyped about this video because I just decided, you know what? We got this box. Let's just open it up. Obviously, the goal for the ultra, the ultra rare, which are 1 in 24 per box. So it's actually kind of weird because they're actually harder to pull than ultimate rares. We would like the Ancient Gear Golem, obviously. And the Ultimate Rares, we want the Ancient Gear Golem, the Flame Wingman, Thunder Giant, Wing Karibo, and like Brain Control's all right. We wouldn't mind with Chef either. Those are pretty cool. So here's Hida, the Fire Charmer. Not too many like crazy valuable commons. There are the Elemental Heroes though, which is cool. Final Ritual of the Ancients. Here we go. twice oh my goodness we got an ultra ulti finally i didn't think it would be that fast oh my goodness and the centering is pretty good on it wow i didn't even get a chance to talk about why the ultra ultis are so hard to pull this one out to see what happens it's just more excitement than anything else yeah okay. all right all right guys oh this is uh, 20 years in the, in the <laughs> this is open Let's check out what's in here. Yeah, it just like fell open. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, let's see. We might have to open to a hollow to make sure. Definitely meant. Okay. Yeah. All right, come here. Definitely real cards. Yeah, the cards are 100% real. They would be much redder on the back. And if then they were the not. text would be off too. Okay. Dark gray. Okay. Crimped, crimped. It's a secret rare. Okay, it's 100% real. That's for sure. But it's crimped. It's crimped. So, in a PSA 10, it would be over $1,000. You see the top edge? Yeah. So, that's why the pack didn't seal because yeah, that. Yeah, because it was crimped. That, that right there stopped it from the crimping the pack. Oh, is that an error? I mean, people, someone might pay more or less for it. Wow. Bring that boy out in the sun. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I was like, what is going on with this pack? Because it just like fell open. Me too. A lot of these cards are worth a lot because. This is their first printing, and tons of them didn't get reprinted. So they just have like one random printing that's just kind of weird for tournament pack commons sometimes. And then they just have a ton of value because there's just no other cards of them. They're kind of unique. All right, third pack. Here we go. We got the statue of the Easter Island. If that doesn't remind you of Night at the Museum, I don't know what, what will. The Judgment Hand. Here we go. Make sure you guys hit the like button for this video because this is pretty expensive. Pretty epic old opening. The centering is pathetic. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Mechanical Chaser Ultra Rare pulled from Tournament Pack 1. Unbelievable. That is like an 8 centering though. That is so epic. Look at the back. Oh my. This is like some of the worst centering I've ever seen. It might be able to get a 9 OC if this thing's nice. This might be it. All right. LOB first edition. A little bit of a fat pack. Yeah, no body shaming in this in this place here, but here we go. Well, hey, let's hope. What would, like, obviously, blue eyes. Blue eyes is the number one card. Dark then Magician's my favorite. Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and Exodia Head are all okay. very big. They're big. Well, I've pulled Red Eyes on the on my channel, so we'd prefer one of those. what if we pull any two. of those? I'm just going to get really excited. Obviously, if we pull any legend, of those, uh, I, I, mean, might eyes. I might pass out, just saying. Um, and, of course, I'm getting sleeve ready just in case. Super rares are great. Any foil is good. That and also it means that might actually scale the packs, which is kind of good. Maybe we can actually know what we're gonna pull. Mm. May or may not happen. We'll see. All right, Kumutoko. We got some weird ones. Um, definitely glossy cards. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, one. you see that. That's the difference. Glossy looks like this. Wavy looks a little mm. different. All right, Kumutoko. It just looks really nice. 
Forest, very good. I like the magic cards in the originals. They're just the nice green. I'm a big green fan. Mm -hmm. We got some green in the background as well. Skull Servant, that's pretty good. The centered He's commons, back. too. These actually are worth a little bit if they're graded. Mm -hmm. Green Phantom King. This okay, is. this is it, guys. Okay, here we go. Dark Magician! Perfect Oh my oh god! Please. I hit your camera. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't believe this. This is insane, man. We just name. Okay. Actually, you said what you want. I and said we everything it. I wanted to pull. We pulled every card. I, I said I wanted to pull more than the blue eyes. Believe it or not, the dark magician is my favorite card growing up, and we just pulled it. This is amazing, and the centering is pretty good on it. Oh my it's a gosh. lot better than the flame this swordsman. Is, uh... I'm, I'm speechless. In and that's it for the top 10 video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what the snubs were, what you think was in the wrong order. Tell me what should have been number one, number five, whatever you think was the right order for it, or if I put one way too high or too low. Let me know in the comments so I can take that into the account for the end of year 2021. But it was pretty fun to recap these old moments. We've had some pretty awesome pulls so far this year. Hopefully we can have some even better ones in the second half of the year. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!